Friday, July 22nd. I'm at the back side of the pit now, and they've covered up the corner part with sand. Now, I wonder if they fixed all those holes that were in it. And if you notice here, it's starting to blow away again because it ripped through the spikes. What a surprise. I guess they need to put more world-class rocks on it like they did here. It's all flowed away over here, too. It's all blowing down. Um, it's all creased. Um, this guy up here is just rolling around, moving dirt, freaking everywhere. Uh, the articulating truck is over there being loaded. He is going to come down here and throw it over the side there. Now, this is just bozos at work. I'm just going to continue to call them bozos because that's what they are. So look at this. It's completely and utterly folded over. Let's walk over to the next hill. Walk with me. Walk with me. Keep walking with me. Whoop, going through the trees. It's a bit of a hike sometimes. It's a good thing I'm in good shape. It's always fun to do this in my Birkenstocks and, sh and my skirt. Now look at that. It's completely blown over the side. And that one's completely blown over there. Yeah, this is going to protect us from leaks and leaching and all these contaminants, dioxins, furons, phenols, hydrocarbons, all those good nasty things that nobody else in Canada would take except these guys because these guys are the bargain basement of dumping. They've got an illegal, fraudulently obtained permit, and yet they still just keep going because, well, nobody's going to stop them. The government says it's okay. The courts say it's okay. The courts say, hey, I'm going to use my decision from Peachland so that you can continue dumping. wonder how much Pamela Kirkpatrick got paid for that one. Yeah. Justice Sewell, how much are you being paid to hold off on your decision? I have absolutely no faith in the courts anymore. Sorry, people, but after spending 60 plus days in there and hearing what these guys are doing and what they have done and how illegal this whole entire thing is, the bought and paid for, the secret agreements, the 50-50 profit sharing, I have no faith in the courts at all. So I don't know what you guys are thinking, but all I know is that when there's no way that this pit here's the whole pit, can fit 5 million tons of contaminated soil. I've been saying this from the beginning. This pit was designed for Rock Bay and DND. That's it. The government needed to get rid of those two huge contracts. Oh, the Alpine guy's back. I wonder where he dumped his bin. Because that was really fast. I wonder if he dumped it in the tent. Maybe I can catch him to win the next one. Oh, and here comes Brad. I just caught him heading down the uh, south end road. So he was going to Dale Herb's tree farm and grabbing sand from the tree farm because um, they need to, they're, they're mixing it in with the contaminated soil, which by the way is not allowed to be done in the permit. But <laughs> who are you going to tell? Yeah, that's about it. Because these guys, they don't care. They don't follow no stinking rules. They just do whatever they can to get a paycheck. Here's Brad. I'm going to get a close-up of him so we can see what Brad looks like. I brought my zoom lens camera with me today. I thought I'd be all professional with my spying and private eyeing. Okay, going to grab my camera. 